Hello everyone, I'm Tuko. Welcome back to another episode of the LTR Structures Reforged series. Today, I will be showing off the uh, Wood Elven Smithy. Now, I forgot this um, <laughs> before I did uh, the the Doggo Doer Altar one. I completely forgot that I had this uh, structure that I needed to show. So, uh, without further ado, I suppose, uh, here is the Reforged uh, Smithy. And also over here, we have the, of course, the original one. Uh, but... I quite like mine. <laughs> All right, so uh, let us get started first. I suppose we'll get started with the outside and the roof. If I can fly, there we go. All right, so uh, I like the other uh, structures. There's a lot of, I guess, leaves and ivy, I suppose, uh, all around the build just to make it look a bit more natural, a bit more, I don't want to say run down, but a bit more, um, I guess, on the... Uh, on the kind of, um, what do I want to say? Uh, kind of on the blending in of, of uh, the surrounding trees and leaves and whatnot. So I definitely added that. Also with this top here, I kind of kept it similar to uh, kind of this, the, um, I guess kind of similar to the roof uh, for the elven tower that I made for the reforged. And I quite liked it, so I decided to keep it. And then also add like a, a chimney right in the middle where the, of course, the uh, furnace and all the smoke would be going. And on the outside, we have some nice pillars supporting some wonderful looking arches uh, to support the roof, of course, as you can see. We also have some nice uh, some nice walls down here uh, with uh, some torches to add some lighting. Also, again, some more support with the green oak fences. And for the uh, pillars, uh, for replacing the pillars, I use the green oak wood simply because uh, these pillars, they just, they have like some sort of blue like a blue hue or kind of like a, a grayish blue to it and it doesn't really look too good with the forest surrounding it so anyway in the interior here we have some nice uh we have some nice green oak struts i suppose uh coming off of the furnace here uh in order to add again some more support and some more nice wonderful support uh, to the whole structure we also have some nice massive windows here and also a few side ones too uh for some added uh, for some added detail and I guess some nice some nice looks I suppose also on either side here We have uh, two crafting benches two regular crafting benches and also two elven crafting benches just for some nice symmetry uh, We also have coming around here. We have some incomplete armor sets uh, that the of course the uh, Smith is working on uh, as you come into his shop. We also have some uh, anvils one there and one over here and also back here we have a cauldron uh, you know for some Water so you can, uh, I guess, cool off the metal once it's once you're all done with it, I suppose. Uh, just a nice little detail there. Also, we have, uh, with the Tom here, um, an open roof. Uh, just give it a bit more detail and also some nice, some nice coloration. Because, I mean, just this stone would be kind of boring. So, we also have the green from the, from the uh, roof in here. Just give it that added nice little, nice little look. All right, so I do believe that is all for the um, for the smithy. But uh, before I go, I completely forgot. Uh, we do have the furnace here that we need to take a look at. So with the furnace, uh, I, I went with a pretty basic design, um, just with some uh, fence posts or some fence walls, some walls here, some stone walls, uh, then some also some nice stairs to add some, I guess, added detail. And then we also have two furnaces. Uh, right here and in the front of course and also a block of lava since that's usually what what uh, you find in all of these smithies I suppose. Well anyway guys that is going to do it for this uh, episode of the LTR Structures Reform series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always I'm Tuco. God bless. I'll see you guys next time.